Okay. I don't know how well that angle is going to get this. Wind thermal brushing. That's what you call that. When thermal brushing these things, you want to start by applying the heat to the frame first. So I'm going to heat here and here. And I want to heat it on the side that I want it to fold towards so that the leaves, when they printed, end up, the printing ends up being on top. So I want to heat it from this side. Should just cause it to fold toward me a little bit. And just until I see movement. And once I have the movement, then I just go ahead and roll my my stuff over. It's cold and windy outside. So that's making the cooling process happen much faster. So now it's reposed itself. And now I want to get the leaves individually. And those I can just grab and do a little twisty bin kind of thing with my thumb. Maybe roll my thumb down the, the vein of it. Just give it that that leafy bend. And they they hardened up pretty quick. <laughs> Like really, you, don't, you just have to know that it's deforming a little bit. Like as soon as you see it to kind of bend, you want to hop on it. I'm using the high hot setting on this thing so it doesn't take but a few seconds to get super hot. From, <laughs> but now you go from that flat print to uh, a more completely organic looking sort of thing and even even the top here you can peel down the little the little connection leaves give it some more flavor and in the really it's really true so even these um, I can if I'm careful and this one's can be kind of difficult but if I'm gentle and I'm careful with it I can bloom the rose in the same way It takes a lot of time to... It doesn't take all that time at all. It takes a little time to... kind of nurse it along. But in short order, you take your... default... your default printed thing, and you've given it its own unique sort of personality versus 
the other ones, you know, and it doesn't take much. It doesn't take much before you have a lovely bouquet. And then on to the painting. Oh, where did the button? 